Christ's arrangement with us is similar to a mom providing music lessons for her child. Mom pays the piano teacher. Because mom pays the debt in full, she can turn to her child and ask for something. Practice. Does the child's practice pay the piano teacher? No. Well, does the child's practice repay mom for paying the piano teacher? No. Practicing is how the child shows appreciation for mom's incredible gift. It is how he takes advantage of the amazing opportunity mom is giving him to live his life at a higher level. Mom's joy is not found in getting repaid, but in seeing her gift used, seeing her child improve. And so she continues to call for practice, practice, practice. But this practice has a different purpose than punishment or payment. Its purpose is change. Christ's grace is sufficient to help us in that process. Brother Wilcox, I mean, don't you realize how hard practice is? I mean, I'm just not very good at the piano. I hit a lot of wrong notes and it takes me forever to get it right. Now wait, isn't that all part of the learning process? When a young pianist hits a wrong note, we don't say he is not worthy to keep practicing. We don't expect him to be flawless. We just expect him to keep trying. Perfection may be his ultimate goal, but for now, we can be content with progress in the right direction.